Good morning, Papa. Papa, good morning. Everybody had a good sleep last night? Oh, yeah. We all slept until like 9.30 or 10 o'clock. Oh, wow. These pancakes look absolutely amazing. Nothing like sourdough pancakes cooked over an open fire on a cast iron pan. Wowee. Grandpa, tell me about the good old days. Sometimes it feels like this world's gone crazy. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Enjoying your sourdough pancakes? Yes. yes. Always best out here in Kakwa, flavored with the smoke. And the coffee. And the coffee. Having Bible study and scripture reading. There's Horn Ridge. But we're not gonna climb Horn Ridge today. Nope. We're heading that direction and going to conquer Sulphur Mountain. And we're all gonna hike it. got all tangled up. here soon. We have a friend who's climbing Sulphur oh, Mountain with us. He's just climbing up here and now he's letting off a whole bunch of his Mr. Toad stuff. But his warts. See? Hi everybody. I am the Toad of Sulphur Mountain. Okay, you gotta do that again. I am the Toad of Sulphur Mountain. <laughs> you must pass me before you can go farther. <laughs> I am patrolling the mountain. Go let him. Hi, Lene. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> And there's that bowl. If you watch the last Kakwa video that we did, you will see what that bowl looks like from that point. Storm. Quite the weather. Beautiful. Beautiful ridge. Hi, Amber. Hello. How are you doing? 
Good. Very good. Very much enjoying this. Good. Even though I feel like a clown. It looks like we took a bit of the wrong trail. Not quite the wrong trail, but not the trail that we were thinking was the right trail that we actually wanted to go on. And the trail that we took does not go directly to the point of sulfur, but rather to the tip of one of its ridges. Maybe another day we'll conquer the actual tip of Sulfur Mountain. Stay tuned. Time for a break and a snack. Man, the mosquitoes are pretty nasty. Remember when mom used to be so sick with her welts and she couldn't even hold her babies? And you said that she would get better and she would be climbing mountains with us someday. This is the first time that we've actually climbed a big mountain as a complete family without any ATVs. Yeah. That we've just hiked it. And biked it. <laughs> yeah. Picture. Ready, go. Climb every mountain, board every stream, follow every rainbow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Amber. Amber. Yes, sir. coming over there. There is that big bowl that you can see from the back of Horn Ridge. Not the most pleasantest weather up here. Come on, let's stand to our feet. We are here to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords to give him all the glory and all the honor that he is so worthy of. We're going to lift up our hands. The Bible says I want men and women everywhere to lift up holy hands and praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm bursting with praise today, amen? When I think about all the Lord has done in my life, He is worthy, and I know 
Anybody who can say the same. Come on, let's sing. We stand and Come on, lift your hands. Come on. Hand. For the joy. For the joy. saved, an alcoholic, and 35 years later I'm doing it with my nine children and my beautiful wife, and it is a miracle of all miracles that I can do this today, and uh, of his glory up here. Just don't want it to end. Yeah. Many more years. So thankful. So thankful. Thankful for all my children to do this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. just meeting the big tree line. There it is. Here comes little Lene, the happy camper. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What? It's attached? 
This is an incredible tree. Look at that. It's growing right into its sister. And they're not even joined at the roots. Well, maybe way under the ground, but... Goodbye, beautiful dry trail. Hello, muddy trail. We're almost at the bottom. And the other group with Dad, Bree, and Brooke, Julia, and Mom are coming up behind us. We're ahead. This is maybe like an eighth of the trail. And that's why so many of us brought rubber boots. Quite a few of us wore steel-toed rubber boots. And we hiked all the way to the top. Except Lene and Simon, they took theirs off for a bit and walked in bare feet. Yep. This is the slush. And no, those sounds are not Sasquatches. Those are Sarah and Simon scaring away the Sasquatches and the bears. It's the healthiest, most beautiful and big willow tree that we've seen. I think ever. Generally, there's a whole bunch of dead ones. But they're all alive, thriving. Look at that. Yay, we are out. We're the first ones. Just think, we walked so far that we were level with that, but directly over there. Hi, Charles. I, what did you do with that bike of yours? I rode and pushed it up to the top of the mountain and then rode it down. It was pretty easy going down, hey? Yeah, it was very easy. <laughs> All of us are hanging onto our knees and he's just gliding down like no big deal. And then we saw you actually packing it over your head on your shoulders closer yeah. to the top. What are we going to do, Simon, when we get home? Have tacos and watermelon. And maybe even go for a dunk in the Torrens River. See you later! Homeward bound. In the quiet misty morning, when the moon has gone to bed, when the sparrows stop their singing and the sky is clear and red.
red when the summer ceased its gleaming when the corn is past its prime when adventures lost its meaning i'll be homeward bound in time bind me not to the past year Doing what girls love to do, like flowers, and doing what boys love to do. <laughs> yeah, he's done better ones. If you find it's me or missing, if your hope i